Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the scrotum. What is scrotum? The scrotum is the cutaneous sac for the testis, epididymis, and lower part of the spermatic cord. So, this is the cutaneous sac for the testis, for the epididymis, that is continued as, as the vas deferens. It is divided into right and left part by a median raphe. The skin is pigmented and contains smooth muscle called dartos. And that dartos muscle is very essential for the size of the scrotum. And it is crumbled during winter time. It is relaxed during summer time. That is essential to maintain temperature for spermatogenesis. Dartus muscle also make the septum in, in the middle of the scrotum for two testes. Okay, so what are the coverings of the scrotum? That means what are the layers of the scrotum? We have skin, dartus muscle, Dartus muscle is replacing the superficial fascia. So, this is the skin of the scrotum. Then we will get the dartus muscle here underneath the skin. Then, external spermatic fascia that is contributed by the external oblique muscle here, or external oblique muscle aponeurosis that is contributing in the formation of the external spermatic fascia. Cremasteric fascia is contributed by the internal oblique muscle and this fascia. And the transversus abdominis actually has no or minimum contribution. Internal spermatic fascia is derived from the transversalis fascia. So, testis and scrotum. We go there. This is the image here. This is the testis, and this is the sac of skin that is containing the testis, epididymis, vas deferens. This is a septum in the middle of the scrotum, and that is done by the dartus muscle. Okay, then here this is the scrotal layer. Okay, and this is the epididymis, this is the, the tail of the epididymis, then it will, con it will be continued as the vas deferens. So these all are present in the sac, cutaneous sac, that is the scrotum. Blood supply of the scrotum, external parental artery and internal parental artery. Nerve supply, iliovingular nerve, genital branch of the genital femoral nerve, wooden del nerve, and the scrotal branches, posterior scrotal branches of the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve. Lymphatic drainage goes to the superficial inguinal lymph nodes. Okay. Some clinical correlation, inguinal hernia is a content of scrotum, especially it is seen in the indirect inguinal hernia. Direct inguinal hernia may also reach to the upper part of the scrotum. Hydrocele that is present between the parietal layer of the tunica vaginalis and the visceral layer of the tunica vaginalis. So these are related to the testis and it is related to the peritoneum. So the, the, it should not contain any fluid, but if it contains fluid, then there will be development of hydrocele between the parietal layer of tunica vaginalis and the visceral layer of tunica vaginalis. That is a remnant of the processus vaginalis that guide the testes to reach to the scrotum. Hematocele, yes, testes is vulnerable to injuries, any trauma there, there may be collection of fluid. In the testis, we call it hematocele. 
male pseudohermaphroditism that is possible because test is developed from the labioscrotal swelling its homologous structure in female is labia majora sometimes the septation of the scrotum is not done there may be gap between two compartment of the scrotum that is indicating male pseudohermaphroditism elephantiasis due to lymphatic blockage by some type of parasitic infection like filariasis so that may block the lymphatic drainage and there may be a collection of fluid varicocele the pempiniform plexus of vein in the in the spermatic cord may be very much swelled up dilated especially person is walking for person is standing for long time in some occupation varicocele may be also present due to obstruction in the venous drainage and it may be a manifestation of retroperitoneal cancer so the scrotum may go through cancer and it should go to the superficial inguinal lymph node and left scrotum is little bit lower than that of the right scrotum so that's all about the anatomy of the scrotum if you have any question please feel free to ask me please support my channel please subscribe me and have a nice day bye now